Hiya too, how are you? And welcome to this week's PDW lesson. Remember, PDW stands for Personal Development and Wellbeing. Now, can you remember what we looked at in our PDW lesson last week? Yes, that's right. We looked at the feeling of being worried and we read the book The Worrysaurus. Now, can you remember why the Worrysaurus was worried? Yes, that's right. He was worried about his picnic, wasn't he? He was worried about what he had to eat, what he had to drink, that it was going to rain and that he didn't have his wellies. And can you remember what he did to help him when he was feeling worried? Yes, that's right. He had that box, didn't he? And he opened the box and had all of his special things inside and he'd give them a big hug and he'd feel a lot better a lot calmer. And we all drew our very own Unworry Island, didn't we? With all of the things that would help us to feel calmer so we can imagine ourselves when we're feeling worried and hopefully it will help us to calm down. Now today we are going to be looking at a different feeling and it's one of the feelings that we looked at in the Colour Monster book. Can you remember all of the feelings in the Colour Monster book? Pause the video now and have a think. Okay year two, so the feelings in the Colour Monster book, there was happiness, there was sadness, there was calm, there was anger, there was fear, well done for remembering all of those. Now I wonder which one we're going to be looking at today. Well, we're going to be reading the book, The Snurch, okay? Now, have a look at the girl who's called Ruthie. Look at her face. How do you think she feels? Can you see the snurch? It's there. How is it making her feel? Yes, I agree with you. She looks very cross, very angry, very upset. I wonder why the snurch is making her feel this way. Should we read the book and find out? Right. So, Ruthie has a problem at school. It is not the students. It is not the classroom. It is not the reading or the writing or the maths. Oh, I wonder what it is then. Let's carry on reading. It is the snurch. So the snurch, as I said, is what's making her angry. Who is the snatch? Teacher says, Ruthie, please take your seat. There is her seat. And there is the snatch. Can you, you see the snatch sitting on Ruthie's seat? She doesn't look very happy about having to go and sit next to the snatch, does she? The snatch is lots of things. Nice is not one of them. The snatch is scribbly and scrunchy. The snatch is grabby and burpy and rude and the snurch is always with Ruthie. Now how would you describe the snurch's behaviour? Can you pause the video and have a little think? Okay yes too, so did you think the same as me? I think the snurch's behaviour is quite rude, it's quite destructive, look it says that the snurch is scribbly and scrunchy which probably means that the snurch has scrunched up some work of the children's and also has Ribbled all over it. So let's carry on reading to find out what else the snurch gets up to. When teacher calls on Ruthie, the snurch throws her pencils and Ruthie forgets the question. During break, the snurch makes rude noises and no one wants Ruthie to play. Oh, how do you think that makes Ruthie feel? Yes, I'm sure it makes her feel very upset. And when everyone draws in art class, the snurch becomes truly terrible. It hides, it waits, and when teacher asks if anyone wants to share their work, it leaps, it grabs, it crumples, it makes sure no one will like George's drawing. Oh dear, that's not very nice, is it? T teacher says, Ruthie, that is not okay. It wasn't me, says Ruthie, it was the snurch. Okay. No one has a life as difficult as Ruthie. Look how the snurch makes Ruthie feel. She doesn't look very happy at all, does she? I'm sure she feels very lonely because of how the snurch makes her feel. Ten whole minutes later, Ruthie tries to draw something pretty or cute or happy, but all that comes out of her crayon is unhappy scribbles. So how do you think if she's scribbling that she's feeling? Yes, I think that tells us as well that she's feeling angry. The snurch is no help. So there you go. There's another adjective that we could use. We could say the snurch is unhelpful. Ruthie looks really hard at the snurch. Ruthie draws. 
Can you see her staring at the snatch? She's got her pencil in her hand with her paper. I wonder what she's going to draw. Art class ends. Teacher asks if anyone would like to share. No one is more surprised than Ruthie when she stands up. No one except the snatch. I will, says Ruthie. Ah, oh, wonder what she's done now. She shows the class her drawing. Her classmates look. It's what throws our pencils, says one. It's what makes weird noises, says another. It's what drew on my drawing, says George. Ruthie knows the snurch wants to run away and hide. I'm sorry about that, says Ruthie. That's okay, says George. And I like your drawing. And then another kid says the same. And another and another until everyone agrees. Now, how do you think that's making Ruthie feel now that everybody likes her drawing? Yes, very happy. I wonder what she's drawn. Shall we find out? Ruthie has drawn a wonderful snatch. OK, now, why do you think Ruthie's picture of the snatch has her in the middle of it? Could you pause the video and have a little think for me? OK, what did you think? Well, that's right. It's because it's really part of her. So the snatch makes her feel angry. And we all have the ability to become angry. Sometimes we all um, we all feel angry sometimes. It's just a feeling that we can have. And therefore, she is inside the snatch because everyone has the ability to feel angry sometimes. OK. Ruthie likes school. She likes the students. She likes the classroom. She likes the reading and the writing and the maths. And Ruthie still has a snatch. The snatch is still scribbly and scrunchy. The snatch is still burpy and grabby and rude. So if the snatch is still at school, why is it now that Ruthie likes school? Why do you think that is? Yes, because she's learned to control the snatch. She's learned to control her anger. And she did that by drawing a picture of the snatch, didn't she? But the snatch also listens sometimes. And sometimes the snatch is even sorry. And as hard as it is, it can be to sit next to the snurch, Ruthie realises she's not alone. George has one too. Can you see George's snurch? It looks very different to the one that Ruthie has, doesn't it? Blue this time. I like your drawing, says Ruthie. Thanks, says George. Now, can you see everybody in the class has a snurch? Now, what does that tell us? That tells us that we all have a snurch inside of us, I think. And it's the part of us that gets cross and angry and does things sometimes that we know we are really better than as a person. Things we know that we really shouldn't do. And if we know how to recognise our snurch, so Ruthie recognised her snurch by drawing a picture of it, didn't she? And we can learn to control our snurch. So we can control our anger, the feeling of anger that we we sometimes have rather than letting our snurch control us so at the beginning of the book the snurch controlled Ruthie didn't he and she always felt very angry and she didn't really like going to school she had a problem at school but then she drew a picture of the snurch and she learned how to control that anger so she was controlling her anger rather than the anger controlling her okay and she drew a picture there's lots of different ways that we can control our anger for example, we could draw a picture, we could read a book, maybe we could go for a walk in the park. I know when I'm feeling that way, I like to go and walk my dog in the park. Could you pause the video and have a think? How do you normally control your anger when you're feeling a little bit cross? OK, fantastic. Did you manage to think of how you control your anger? Brilliant. Now, what I'd like us to do is, as at the end of the book we saw, the whole of Ruthie's class had a snurch. Now, what I'd like you to do is create your very own snurch, OK? It can be as colourful as you like, but you need to create your very own snurch. So can you see that they're all different? Well, yours is going to be completely different too. And what I'd like you to do is describe what brings your snurch out. So what makes you angry sometimes? OK, so it could be, for example, when you're brother or sister won't share, that your to uh, share their toys or when they take your toys away from you and you want them back. There are lots of different things, as we found out when we looked at the Colour Monster book, that can make you feel angry. But then I also want you 
to tell me how you control your snatch. So how when you're feeling angry, do you help yourself control your anger? Okay, so as I said, it could be reading a book, it could be going for a walk in the park, it could be playing a game that you like, it could be seeing your family. There are lots of different ways that you can control that feeling of anger. So instead of the anger controlling you, you can have control of the anger. Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing all your pictures of your snatch and seeing what brings your snatch out and how you can control your snatch. So what you do to help control your snatch. Okay, have a lovely rest of your day, Yeti. Bye.